Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to the Hermitcraft modded Hermit Pack server. And today guys, we have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Um, so first of all, I'll let you guys know about some of the stuff that happened during the live stream on Saturday. Uh, so during that live stream, we actually did a lot. We upgraded our inventory capacity on our player. Uh, that was done through this uh, bit right here, this, this item here. Although we didn't actually have to craft it, we found it in the jungle temple along with a lot of other useful stuff, which I'll show you. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of different stuff here now. Magic capacitors, emerald shovels, carbon paper, teleportation wand. Uh, we also got this staff of traveling, which is awesome. We haven't yet charged it, but we hopefully will soon this episode. Uh, so we'll try that out. Uh, then we also got a bunch of other stuff, you know, runes. We got this ender sword, which I think, yeah, increases ender pearl drops. That could be very useful in the future, definitely. Definitely could be very useful. Um, let's see, what else do we get? Oh yeah, we can also craft stuff in our inventory now as well. Uh, not just the 2x2, two two, but the 3x3, three three, because we did this one as well. Inventory crafting upgrade, we found that in another jungle temple. And we also found dispensers, long-range speed fishing hook, <laughs> emerald sword, uh, probably some other stuff that's in this bag. Uh, yeah, some of this stuff, I think, came from that as well. Uh, we also lassoed two, cu two cows with golden lassos, um, so we have cows uh, might be useful in the future. Uh, and, yeah, some other stuff like pumpkins and stuff we now have. Um, so, yeah, what is the main thing we have to do now? I think the main thing is we come down here, we can see we're still running on dinos. We're still running on coal power, basically. And so I want to sort of upgrade that today. And I think the way to do that uh, would be through solar panels, I believe. Um, and it's really important we get more power because if we don't have power, we can't access our crafting grid here, which means that we can't... Um, get our stuff basically so we don't want to run out of coal and have to keep mining coal we want to get a more permanent uh, or renewable power source so I think we'll do that today and also I think we can actually put this this flint in here into the sag mill to actually increase the efficiency of this so that should be good there um, I also want to yeah make it so that these these conduits here are not shown and I think the way we do that is through the painter let me see, I think we got painter, let's see, is this painting machine? Painting machine, yeah, right here. So I think we'll make one of these painting machines, and we'll try to uh, get a conduit. We need like a transparent, let's see, let's search for conduit. Yeah, we need one of these transparent conduits, um, conduit facade, and we can paint these, and then uh, it'll blend in with the uh, like the stone and stuff back here. So they won't even see the wires. So that should be cool too. Um, so let's go ahead and let's actually do that first. We'll make the, the painting machine first. So that we don't have to see any wires behind here. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that first. And let's instead do the power source first. Let's make some uh, solar panels. Um, so I think we have a couple different types. We have the actual edition solar panel. Uh, which is crafted like this. We got the industrial craft 2 solar panel. And then we have... Yeah, the Solar Panel Controller Tier 1, which is from Environmental Tech. And I think I want to go with this one, because this, I think, produces, like, I want to say, like, 1,150 or so RF per tick. Um, so I should have a guide to, let's see, Environmental Tech right here. Yeah, sweet. Let's check this thing out and see what it says here. So, let's see, Environmental Tech. Okay, so we're looking for a solar array. And it says, solar ray is a multi-block generator that generates energy from the sun. Any block above any of the solar cells must allow sunlight through. Uh, there's modifiers to it. And here's what we want. I think we're going to try and make this. The solar array tier 1. So it has energy that gives us 1,152 RF per tick. Uh, modifier slots 4. So I think that's like you can upgrade like the speed and stuff like that. Space required is 5x2x5 five by by five in the X, Y, and Z. And here's the list of stuff we need. So we need 9 solar cells, 4 modifier cores, 16 structure blocks. So let's see how expensive those things are. So let's check out the structure block. Structure, wow. <laughs> structure block, there we go. So we need tier one or above. So basalt, gold, and redstone. Not too bad. So we need 24 of those, I think is what it said. Um, let's see, we also need, or 16 of those. We need nine solar cells and then four modifier cores. So let's check out how, much, how expensive those are. So let's see, solar cells, environmental tech solar cell, here we go, okay, so photovoltaic cell, iron, redstone, how much are these? Oh, that's not too bad, we need some quartz though, 
Uh, let's see how, much, how you make the clear glass. Smelted in the uh, enriched sand. How do you make that? Okay, with quartz. So we need a lot of quartz, basically. Uh, I think we have a decent amount of that right in here. Let's just check and see. 16. Yeah, so we might have to go and get some more quartz from the nether. Uh, but that's not too bad. And the other thing we needed was... What was it? Modifier core, yeah. Let's see what we got for modifier cores. Modifier core. There's the basic one. There's a speed one. Piezo. And then uh, accuracy is another one. If we get the minor, we might want that one. Flight modifier. hey -oh. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, let's see this modifier core. Clear glass, stone, and iron. Yeah, so that's not, that's not too expensive. Um, so let me go and mine some quartz here from the nether. I'm also going to be looking for some ardite and some cobalt in the nether because we want to upgrade our pickaxe soon, I believe. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I think we're now ready to make the first part of the solar panel, which is the solar panel tier 1 controller. Um, so we need the photovoltaic cells, which we have, redstone, iron, and clear glass, which I think I just got done smelting up. Fantastic. Okay, let's put this in here. Uh, we're going to get this solar cell first, and then that goes into my inventory, and then I think I have all the rest of the blocks here for this tier 1 controller. Yeah, I do. Nice. Sweet. So there's our controller. Uh, now we have to get four of the modifiers, which we need more clear glass for that, so we're going to have to basically enrich this sand. Uh, let's see, how many do we need? We need four of them, so uh, we need 16 clear glass. So we'll just go ahead and get that smelting up. There we go. We'll put that right in there. Now we'll smelt that up. We also need some stone, which I believe we got in here. Yes, okay, we got the stone. And block of iron, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Block of iron. So now we just have to wait for this stuff to smelt up. And while we're waiting for this rest of this clear glass to smelt up, we will go ahead and I think craft the assembler, which I think is what we also need to assemble this solar panel. So it looks like we just need obsidian, alabaster, Obsidian and alabaster? Oh, alabaster structure block. Okay, basalt structure block. So we got to make one of those. We need two diamonds. Let's come over here. We'll get some diamonds. One, two. Uh, we need some redstone, which we have. And we need some obsidian. So let's grab a little bit of obsidian out of here. Very nice. Go ahead and toss this in there. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and make that then. So basalt. Uh, we also need this, which is gold. So we need a regular basalt, too. So we can just grab one of these if I have an open slot. I think. Yeah. Should be able to just grab this, right? What the world? Oh, there we go. Right, left click. <laughs> Alright. So left click to get some basalt. Uh, now we should be able to make it. So, basalt structure block. And we should be able to make this first tier 1. And then the tier 2. Structure block tier two. There we go. And obsidian. And that should give us our assembler. Sweet. All right, there we go. Ready to assemble. Sweet. All right, guys, welcome back. And yeah, I think we're ready to build this now. You see I blew out the wall down here uh, so that we can access this thing. And so it says left click to see what we need. So I think we got everything here. So now I just right click and it should, yep, build it for me. There we go. I think, I hope that's working. <laughs> um, let's see, let's just break these blocks under here. And let's see, I'm gonna have to, yeah, make like a temporary, like, thing here that just basically encloses this, I would say. So that no mobs can come in here. There we go. Put that in there. Nice. Alright, let me, uh, let me break some of this stuff. And this thing should now be generating power, basically. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way we can tell. Ah, there we go. Entry level solar array. Sweet! Nice! Alright, that's awesome. So, that's going to be generating some power for us. And now we just have to make the infrastructure that, yeah, basically allows us to harness that power. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this stuff in here, I think. Because, again, this, is, this stuff is all just temporary. We're not going to stay here permanently. Uh, let's just go ahead and just fill this in. And this. There we go. This as well. And 
Might as well just do this too. There we go. So that way only this bit here is showing. Nice. Okay, so now we need some energy conduits. And what I think I want to do, I think I'm going to make a capacitor. Let me see if I have what it takes to make a capacitor bank. So there's two different, there's a couple different types actually. There's one that holds 1 million RF uh, right here. So that just involves four basic capacitors. There's one that has 5 million RF right there. And then there's one that's 25 million, which I think is beyond our capabilities to make right now. Yeah, that one's, that one's too much. That one's too much because this vibrant alloy is a lot. Yeah, it requires a lot of a lot of stuff. So let's let's try and make this basic capacitor, one million RF. That'll be our sort of uh, storage bank. Um, let me go ahead and see what we need here. We need basic capacitors. I thought I had some type of capacitor in my inventory a little bit ago. Let's check and see. Capacitor. There we go. So there's one. Uh, what else do we need for these things? It's got to be something somewhat basic. So copper, gold nuggets, and redstone. So let me just, uh, let me go ahead and craft one of these, uh, and then we'll uh, also need some energy conduits, I believe, unless we have some in here. Energy conduit. Yeah, we do, but this has a max output of 640 RF per tick. Um, so that's not that much. We'd prefer to have one that had more than that. I think this thing puts out, I believe it was 1,500, or 1,100. Let's see how much it does. Yeah, 1,100 RF per tick. So we want to have uh, a wire that will transmit at least this fast. So what what wire conduit would do that? Uh, enhanced energy conduit. That's 5,000 maximum output per tick. Need an energetic alloy, which we can craft. Okay, yeah, that's what we need then. We need the enhanced energy conduit. So I'll make some of these as well as the capacitor, and I'll be back. Aha, we can actually save some energetic alloys if we use the old energy conduit here. So we might as well do that since we already have some of these these old energy conduits in there. So we'll go ahead and grab some of those. There we are. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's also put these in there. And that should give us the big ones as well. Okay, sweet. There we go. Okay, now um, all we have to do, all we should have to do, let's just, let's see how we can hook this up back here. I think we'll, let's see, we want to... Make sure this is powered, okay. Uh, we can actually stop using this now, I think, at least for the moment. Oh, I got so much stuff. So much stuff in my inventory. It's craziness. All right, let's dump some stuff out. Dump some stuff away. Put it away, put it away, put it away, put it away. There we go, okay. Um, right, so now I think I want our capacitor bank. Let's see, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, let's see, I think we could go ahead and just put this, let's go ahead and just put this here for now, and let's just run the energy conduits right from this, down here, and then right over to this, so it just comes over this way, and then to that, and this should start to fill up, oh yeah, look at that power, baby. Woo! Yeah. All right, sweet. Digging that, okay. And then, let's see, this has the ability to output only at certain times, which we might need later on. Um, actually, you know what, let's let's move this back a little bit. This should keep the, uh, the ability to store the energy. Let's move this back to, like, here, for instance. Yeah, let's move that back, and then we'll draw this out here. And then we can actually go ahead and replace these back here, I think. Or actually, will these connect up? No, they won't connect up. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, let's just keep going here. Let's just keep going back this way. And so, we're already full. <laughs> million RF stored up right there. Already full. Wow. Sweet. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I guess we just, let's go ahead and just connect this up here. And then we'll connect these up as well. Back here. Um, now I want this to stay here, so I need to get rid of the, just the energy conduits back here. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. 
to get back here and do this. Um, let's see. Need to just get the bottom ones. Remove those. There we are. Alright, sweet. And then we'll just run this line down here. And then <laughs> go upward a little bit. Back to there. There we go. That's hooked up. That's hooked up. And we might need one more here, looks like. Yeah, we need one more energy conduit. So let's go ahead and grab that right now. This one, this one, that one. Perfect. All right. Let's get these out. Enhanced. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Give me that back. There we go. Perfect. So now they should all be getting power. Yep. Sweet. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right. Awesome. And now I can actually, like, charge things in here, too. So that should be the system all hooked up. Just make sure everything's working. Yep, everything's working just fine. Let's just clear that out. Um, let's see if we can now grab that that teleportation staff. I'm kind of wondering what that does. We should be able to charge that relatively easily. Uh, we don't get power at night. Um, so, yeah, we can actually can actually change this to not output at night if we wanted to uh, via these configurations here. Um, but, yeah, let's see if we have that teleportation staff. It might be in here. Uh, let's see. Teleportation... No, not there. Staff. There we go. This one. Staff of Traveling. We also had a wand, though, didn't we? thought we did. Let's see if we have a wand in here. Wand. Moving wand. Let's, let's check both of these. See if we can charge these bad boys up. So... There we go. Staff of Traveling's charging. Moving wand. Not sure. This is not... No energy in that. I guess it doesn't take RF. Or maybe this is going first and then this. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. Okay, cool. All right, so that one's done. Let's wait for this one. Of course, we're not getting any power right now. So, uh, yeah, it's just taking the energy from this now because it's not daytime. Let's actually make it daytime so we get, get all the energy we can in here. Let's go ahead and sleep. There we go. Very good. Should be just about done. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you see how fast it, full, it fills up. So we basically have infinite power now. So we don't really have to worry about power any longer. At least I don't think we should. Um, okay, so let's see what this does. Let's come on out here. Staff of Traveling. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. All right. When held, travel anchor, held travel anchors and inner I.O. blocks become visible and can be activated by right click. Shift to right click will teleport the player a short distance. So if I shift right click. Oh, wow. That's cool. Nice. All right. And also, does it does it use power when I'm holding it? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Uh, this one, right click to take a block. Right click again on a block to place it down. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We can literally, like, just pick up blocks. Can I place them, like, in the air? Oh, you can place them in the air. That's useful. Wow. Nice. Took grass block. Take take another grass block. Place in the air above me. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. That's amazing. Can I place it here? Yeah, there we go. That's, that's kind of cool. I think it's of marginal use. Uh, this is not a sight we want to see here. We do not want to see these creepers around here. Getting all up in our... <laughs> our solar panel. Um, let's make a little bit of a fence around this, I think. That would be quite useful, I believe. So, let's see if we got any fence in here. Jungle fence, that'll work. We'll make a fence so that mobs can't, uh, you know, spawn down there. And I think I can also hit F7, I want to say, to see where mobs can spawn. Yeah, so this this basically shows me the places mobs can spawn. So actually, this front part here needs some torches. <laughs> that's what that's telling me. So if I place this down, those should go away. Yeah, so you see the torch is now blocking those spawns. So there's need another one there. Another one here. What about over here? This is looking pretty well lit. Back here needs maybe a few. Do not want any mobs coming nearby us. 
Alright, that should be good. There we go. This should be decent now. Make sure nobody sneaks up on us here. <laughs> there we are. Go back, and then over here, looks like that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, one spot right there. <laughs> there we are. Dun 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 dun. Alright, mob proof. Let's go ahead and place down our fence. Hopefully this is enough fence. Nope, it's not. One short. Are you kidding me? Bogus. Bogus. One block short. <laughs> God dang it. Alright, let's see. Um, what can we place here instead? Let's place um let's place something here. Like a like a cobblestone wall or something that people can't get over. Or actually let's just make another fence. What the heck, why not? Wood. Oh, we can't make it a jungle fence though, that's bogus. Anyway, let's just do that. There we are. Come up here. And yeah, one of the fences are going to be different, but... Oh well. <laughs> Doesn't really bother me too much. Although, I think we should probably do this just to make it so that it's consistent. There we go. Fully protected. At least in theory. So there we go. We're getting a thousand RF per tick from that. And that's going to be very, very useful, actually. Super useful. Um, so now... Now what we're going to do, I think... We want to go ahead and make some of the conduit facades, so we're going to go ahead and make that painter now. So let me see what we need for that. We need the painter machine, which isn't too terribly expensive, except for this electrical steel is somewhat expensive. Um, so let me see if we can make this, and then we'll make some uh, I think conduit facades is what we need. Alright, so conduit facade here. So, yeah, painted in the painting machine, right click on a conduit to place. Hidden when a wrench or conduit is equipped. Gotcha. Okay. So how do we make it? We need obsidian dust. Conduit facade, which is just conduit binders around like that. Okay, so let's make those around like that. So there we go. Conduit facades. Very good. And then... Hardened conduit facade. I think we, I think we just need a regular conduit facade. Yeah. Just do that. Um, let's see if we have some stone. Yep, nice. Uh, and then we just need to put the facade in here and the stone here, I think. Is that right? Pretty sure. Yeah, sweet. All right, cool. Painted with stone. And then this will also be painted with stone. Nice. So then... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, wow, we need more than... Wow, okay, so that's kind of expensive, actually, to hide those. But yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. And I think if we get a wrench, let's see if we can make a wrench. We can actually see through. I think this is the one. Yeah, electrical steer, steel, we need a basic gear. Uh, we need some cobblestone for that. So let's make ourselves a basic gear. And then we also need... What is this? More electrical steel? Do we have that? Yeah, we do. Sweet. So now we can, I think, see through... Yeah, we see right through it if we hold the wrench in our hand. That's awesome. So that's how we're going to hide these things. So let me get a few more of the, the conduit binder, this stuff. Yeah, this stuff right here. How do we make that again? That's not how you make that. That is that is not how you make that. Uh, where? What happened to it? Went down here. Here we go, this stuff. Binder composite. So let me, let me make some more of this so we can hide this, all this uh, conduit wire back here. And I'll be back. Alright guys, we are back now. I went ahead and put this magic capacitor that I found. Uh, let me just take it out of here. Uh, I went ahead and put this thing. Let's see if I can actually see if you can see the tool tip here. Uh, into, yeah, there it is right there. Incredibly hungry wonder capacitor. There we go. Yeah, and basically it just increases the amount of uh, RF we can store in this machine here. And also it presumably increases the speed of it. Which is fantastic because we now we have the octetic capacitor in this one. And we're smelting up some bread right now. Uh, our capacitor bank back here, doing quite well, doing quite well. Uh, looks like it's actually topped off right now, yep, <laughs> it's topped off. And yeah, you can see, uh, I added some, some blocks up here, uh, this is from the chisel mod, just to sort of outline exactly what uh, this this whole area is yeah, going to be. It's, I don't think it's, we're going to stay here for too much longer, we're going to be here for maybe another episode or two, but that's about it. 
Uh, so I just wanted something to outline this to make it look a little nicer. And then, of course, if we hold the wrench in our hand, you can see all the uh, the conduits uh, and all the wiring and stuff back here. Um, by the way, I took out um, yeah this whole thing here. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to take this out totally here. Let's see, what does that do to this? Okay, so that puts that there. I think I might now... Uh, let's see. I might need one more redstone... Redstone in redstone circuit. I think I can actually now move this lever out finally. So if I put this here, that's gonna come right out of that. Looks kind of weird. Uh, but then we need the facade here. All right? Oh, you gotta click on the conduit itself. Okay. And then I put the lever back on here. Should turn this on. Yep. Okay. Cool. And if I flick it up, it turns off. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So that now works. Very nice, very nice. Got that wiring back there. I love how you can see right through it. It's so cool. Um, anyway, yeah, I think now what I want is I want some, some way to send items back here um, to be smelted, essentially. So we got the power coming through, right? Um, now we need a way to send stuff back. And I think we can do that through what's called an ender bag. It's basically like this sack of storage, except... Um, instead of holding it on your person, which I actually have to get rid of all this stuff as well, too. A lot of inventory management here in this, I've noticed. <laughs> uh, we can go ahead and put the bread in here to be smelted up. Um, but we want an ender bag that can... That's not, not an ender bag, an ender bag. Yeah, something like this. Ender link bag right here. So we need some blaze powder, uh, an ender bag, which is pretty straightforward besides the ender pearl. Uh, and then that can basically hook up to an ender chest, ender link chest. And then we can pipe the items from the ender link chest if we put it like say here. Pipe those over into here, like all the ores and stuff. Uh, so that it can then, you know, macerate these up. And then put it into this chest, smelt them up, and then put it into this chest here. Um, so basically we'd have an unbroken line of ore smelting from ourselves when we mine them to the finished product, the ore ingot itself over here. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I think I need an ender pearl though. Let me just see. Do I have, whoops, have an ender pearl. Ender, we have the ender, which actually will help us get ender pearl drops. So maybe we go hunting for some endermen with this thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll hunt for some endermen and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the ender pearl now. We're crafting up our eye of ender. There we go. And now we should be able to get the ender... Where is it? Ender link bag. Ender link bag. Here we go. So we have to make the ender bag first. Boom. There we go. There we go. Ender chest. Mobile ender chest is basically what it is. Um, whoops. Lag spike. All right. <laughs> uh, we need the ender link bag, which requires wool and more blaze powder. So I need to get two more blaze powder like that at least. Uh, and then... Let's see if we can do this now. Yeah, we can. Sweet. Ender link bag. Awesome. And then the chest. Aha. So we need another ender bag for the chest, too. Obsidian. We got everything else except for maybe the... Uh, I need a few more blaze rods. So let me get that stuff and I'll be right back. Oh my god, what is this? What the heck is that? What the world? Oh my god, no way. That's That's a little baby enderman. I don't, I don't even believe it. It really is a baby Enderman. Wow. How did he get miniaturized like that? He stepped in front of the wrong laser beam in his mod pack. That's what must have happened. Get wrecked, guy. Alright, pee and pepperonis. No Ender Pearls? That's bogus. That was insane, yo. Little mini Enderman. <laughs> oh man, that was craziness. I can't even believe that happened. Ow! Skelly, please. All right, guys, so we're ready to make the Ender Link chest now. Let's go ahead and go into here. We got our Eye of Ender sitting in the crafting table in there for some reason. And we want the Ender Link chest right here. Uh, move items in. Uh, oh, yeah, we need the bag first. <laughs> Let me go ahead and make the bag. Uh, ender bag. Ender bag. Ender bag. Ender bag. There we go. And now we can move the chest in. Ender link chest. 
Very good. Okay, so now we're set, I think. So if we put the underlink chest right here... Actually, you know what? We might be able to just put this down here. And then tell this to simply pull... Let me see if I can move this around a little bit. Pull from here. And then we just link up the bag to this chest. I think. How do we do that? Click on it. Let's let's see. Leather. Let's put leather in there. Is that now on the in the chest? Oh, I can't open it because there's a lever above it. Okay. Um let's let's actually do what we were going to do initially then. We have to repair our tool first though, because our pick keeps breaking. I need to get a different pick, I think. I got some cobalt and ardite, so we can make a super overpowered tinker's pick soon. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I moved this over a little bit as well. Let's put this in there. Let's get this one back. There we go. Okay, so... Perfect. And we'll get this and move this. Hopefully I can mine this. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, right, so let's put this here. Okay, so that does indeed have the stuff in it there. Now all we need is an IO conduit, an item conduit. So, item... conduit... I think that's what it's called. Item conduit. Yep, right here. So we need pulsating iron nuggets and these conduit binders. The binders we have... Yep, conduit binders. And then we need the pulsating iron. So how do we make... We make that right here. So pulsating iron nugget, pulsating iron, ender pearl, and iron ingot. Makes one pulsating iron. Wow, that's uh, that's expensive. All right, so we need more ender pearls. <laughs> Even more ender pearls. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got it. Pulsating iron. We got to make this into pulsating iron nuggets. Cross like this, conduit berries cross like so, and there's our item conduit right there. Sweet. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Uh, it's going to be going right here, I believe. Sweet. And actually, <laughs> look at that. When I hold the conduit in my hand, the uh, the facades disappear. That's kind of weird. But okay. Uh, yeah, we want it to go from there, and this one is going to be accepting it. So we want it to insert into here. Right there. So now let's test this thing out. I like I like that animation, by the way. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and I think I need a diamond too, to just lock this thing. So there we go. Yeah. So now you see it says Cup N135 up here. Um. So now if we put an ore into this area, let's see. Do I have? Let's see if I can get an ore real quick. Uh. Let's see. Down here is probably a couple of them. Probably just like worthless ores. Hopefully. Here we go. Galena. Will that work? Nah. Need something better than that. Here we go. Uh, gravel. I need an ore. Where's an ore at? Come on. Come on. There we go. Iron. Perfect. Alright, so now, let's see what happens here. I'm going to put this into the bag. Uh, boom. Uh, why is it public use? Hmm. I'm. How do I link the... Do I do this the same thing? Put an iron, uh, put it in with an I with a diamond. I don't want it to be public use, at least not this one. Or maybe I have to link it up. Oh yeah, I have to I have to right click with it on the uh, the ender chest here. I think. Yeah, there we go. Cup and one three five. Sweet. Yeah. So now, I plop it in there. Okay, it went into this chest. Now it's in here. Grinding up should go to iron dust. It's pulled into this chest, pulled through, if this is on the furnace only mode, there we go, pulled through as iron powder, smelt it up into ingots, ingots go into the chest, woo, yeah, alright, that's what I'm talking about, so, we got an easy way now to, yeah, dump off uh, ores and stuff into our, our ender chest, or ender bag rather, and have them be, yeah, immediately ground down, smelt it up, and output as ingots over here. Sweet! I'm digging it. Look at all this toast we got, too. We got toast for days. Very good, very good. I'd like to fully automate this toast toast process in the future. That would be pretty neat. Toast sandwich. This is a pretty pretty powerful, uh, yeah, 
<laughs> item to, to eat, basically. Um, so, let's see. One more thing I want to do. I want to see if I can get a enchantment. This thing here, an enchanter. Yes, we need dark steel for that. Obsidian, coal powder, and iron. And we also need industrial... Oh, no, just regular diamonds will do. And a book. So, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, I want to get this because I think with the enchanter... Uh, unlike the enchantment table, you can actually specify what enchantments you get on your um, on your stuff. So yeah, you can actually use XP to combine items and a book and quill to create enchanted books. Yeah, so you can get your own enchanted books. So that's that's somewhat useful, much more useful than just the regular enchantment table. So let me get some dark steel and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We are going to do a chunk load on this chunk right here. Uh, let's see, make sure I'm in the right the right one here. Uh, so wherever this chunk is, we're going to chunk load this because we need it to be chunk loaded. So there we go, chunk loaded. Um, we need it to be chunk loaded whenever uh, we have this ender, ender link bag. Otherwise, it won't go through if I'm not within the uh, loaded chunks uh, in this area. So we need that. Uh, there we go, dark steel. We need one more, I think. Uh, so we need one more coal powder. Coal powder right there. Very good. Coal powder and obsidian. One more. There we go. Yeah, much quicker now with this thing here. And yeah, we got plenty of power now. Everything's fully fully charged. Got the upgrade flint. Yeah. There we go. Three. Dark steel. Very good. So now, the enchanter. Enchanter. There it is. Two diamond and a book. So we need a book, get one of those, enchanter, where are you at? Ah, oh, why you do this, come on, enchanter, there we go, boom, boom, sweet, enchanter, let's go ahead and put this up here, let's see how this thing works, uh, I think I want to put this, I think right here, yeah, let's try this, so we need, yeah, book and quill, plus lapis, Show recipes. Here we go. So yeah, you can see the recipes here. So we need, just need a book and quill. XP boost 1. Auto smelt. Yeah, look at this. Protection. So you can specify exactly what you get here. Feather falling. That's, over, that's overpowered. Feather falling. Respiration. Aqua affinity. Yeah. Wow, we got to do a lot of this, I think. Bane of arthropods. Efficiency. Silk touch. Slime ball and lapis lazuli. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. So, yeah. I think I'm going to call that an episode for now, guys. We got some good stuff now. Uh, we're going to start enchanting a little bit. We, I think we can enchant our slime boots as well in here. Let's see if I have my slime boots on me still. Yeah. I think we can actually enchant those with uh, with the book. So, like, we can put these in the anvil and enchant them. So, we need to put feather falling on these. Or, actually, not feather falling, but um, maybe launch on these instead of... That. Is there a launch in here? Let's see if there's a launch. I don't see a launcher enchantment in here, unfortunately, but luckily for us, there's another way we can make a launcher. And actually, before we go, let's do this real quick. Um, so, let's see. There should be some slime. Yep, congealed slime. And I think there's actually a slime launcher. Let's just... Uh, slime... Soft slime plate... Slime plate, hardened slime plate. Okay, that's too much. This is perfect here. So we need slime blocks and weighted and heavy, light and heavy weighted pressure plates. Let's do this real quick. Soft slime plates. And then uses, put it with nether quartz, which we also should have plenty of. Nice. Let's try these out real quick just to see what happens. I just get, there's so much stuff in this mod pack that it's just insane. So now if I just switch these out, come over here, <laughs> and I'm guessing this is going to launch us into the air. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's useful. That's useful. All right, cool. So anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me today. Woo! Superman! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.